Hi guys, welcome back to Super Math Review. This is Mr. Urego, and today we're doing the Algebra 1 EOC review, solving more problems of systems of linear equations by graphing. All right, so this will be an easy problem on the EOC because just technically they're asking to graph. That's it. Most likely they were going to ask you to estimate the answer. So as you can see, we have two equations. That's why it's called a system. One is written in slope intercept form mx plus b and that's going to be my first equation all right where my slope is negative three my y is negative four if you have questions about graphing please go to the previous video and then there i'll explain step by step how to graph each linear equation so in my case the first equation has a negative four as the y intercept so i'm going to go to negative four as my y intercept right there and then the slope is negative three over one so my slope is negative 3 over 1, okay? So remember, rise over run, rise over run. So start on the y-intercept, I'm going to go negative 3 down. 1, 2, 1, 2, and 3. 3 down, that's negative 3. And my run will be 1, which is to the right, positive 1. And right there will be my second point. Having two points, I'm going to draw my line the best way that I can. Here we go. Not too bad. And that's my first line. Let's draw the second equation. The second equation is written in standard form, right? The x and the y are on the one side. So the easiest way how to find or how to graph this is using the x and the y intercept. To find the x intercept, I make my y zero. So I have 4x minus 2 times y, which is zero equals to 8. I'm replacing the y by 0. Negative 2 times 0 will give me 0, so I have 4x equals to 8 divided by 4 divided by 4, and my x-intercept is going to give me 2. There we go. That's my first point. We'll do the same process, but now I'm going to find my y-intercept. I make the other variable 0. If I'm looking for the y-intercept, I make the x 0. All right, so 4, I'm going to write the whole equation, and wherever I see the x, I put a 0. Minus 2y equals 8. Anything times 0 is 0. So I have negative 2y equals 8. My last step will be divided by negative 2 on both sides. y equals negative 4. And those are my two points. Now having the two points, I graph my line. Oops. Let's try to do a better job. Here we go. Uh, much better, I think. All right, let's pretend that those are straight lines. Now you have the two lines. They're going to ask you, estimate the solution. What do you mean estimate the solution? Where they intersect. This point, the two lines intersect. And the coordinates of that point are x is 0 and the y value is negative 4. So this is what the question will be. Estimate the solution of the system. Your answer is negative 0, negative 4. This is the x value and this is your y value. Okay. Now, when we graph a system of equations, as you notice, we have two lines. Why? Because we have two equations. Sometimes we can have three. Right now, we're solving a system of two equations. So, if you notice, we have one solution. That's what we did. We had two lines, and they intercepted at a one point, right? The x value and the y value is your solution. That's one solution. And in this case, it's negative 8, 6, all right? It's called one solution because the two lines intercept at one point, all right? And these two lines, are they intersecting? No, they're not. They're not touching. Because they're not touching, then there's no solution. The solutions are how many points are they touching. If they're not touching, then there's no solution. These lines are parallel lines, which means they have the same slope. What about infinite many solutions? Technically here, they draw the two lines. What happens is one line, they drew the, the first line, and when they draw the second line, it, it was on the top of the first line. So the question is, how many points are they touching? Many, infinite many points, and that's why it's called infinite many solutions. Now, here in the bottom, this is algebraically. This is when we solve using um, 
substitution or linear combinations, which will be on the following or in the next video. Okay. All right, guys, description. Check over the description of all my videos for links to other EOC review videos or tools, and especially for the website, our website. There's a lot of tools in there. Okay, now, this is a very typical EOC word problem, all right? They will give you a lot of word problems, so we need to be um, aware of them and, you know, used to them. Let's read. Scott recorded the temperatures in two Alaskan cities, Anchorage and Wasilla. The temperature of Anchorage was negative 3 degrees Celsius, increasing at one-third Celsius per day. That's one equation. You see every every sentence all the way to the period is one full equation the second in wasilla the temperature was one degree decreasing at one degree per day you see that and no full sentence that's the second equation right now we're lucky enough that they gave me the equation sometimes they will ask you for the equations so if they ask you for the equations be aware that every sentence all the way to the period that's one full equation let's read Anchorage was negative 3 degrees. Negative 3 degrees is negative. Increasing at a rate of one third per day. Increasing means this is positive. Increasing means this is positive. So this is positive one third per day. In this case, X. Let's read. This system below represents the temperature in the cities where X represents the number of days. X is number of days. Negative 3 degrees increasing at one third per day. Increasing is positive one third per day because the X represents the number of days. Wasilla, temperature was one degree. Look, one degree positive. Decreasing, decreasing means negative. All right? At a one degree per day. If there's no number in front of the X, you have a one. All right? So that will be your slope. 1 degree, 1 per day, which is the x. x is the number of days. So I can explain how to get the equations just in case they, they don't give you the equations. Right now, they gave me the equations. They told me the x represents the number of days and the y represents the temperature. x, number of days, y, temperature. Let's read. On which day will the temperature in both cities be the same? Okay, I have no idea. Temperature meaning the y and what will the temperature in that day be okay hold on uh, what day what day is the x i'm sorry and the temperature is the y all right so they give me two equations what do i need to do solve them graph them do something because they give me a coordinate plane i need to graph these two so let's graph the first one I have y equals one third of x minus three. This is in slope intercept form where ne the negative three is my y intercept, negative three is my y intercept, and my slope is one third. My slope is one third. Remember, rise over run. So my rise is one. Okay, I go up one and then three to the right. One, two, three, and right there's my second point. I'm gonna make those huge points, and that's the line. Okay, something like that. Let's graph the second one. Here, my slope is negative 1 and my y-intercept is 1. So, y-intercept is 1, my slope is negative 1. I have to make a fraction because I need to do rise over run. Rise is vertical movement, negative 1, so I go down 1 and then 1 to the right. And right there is my second point. I need to connect those two points. And that will be my second line. Do they intersect? Yes, they intersect. And if I estimate well, they're going to intersect at x equals 3. And y is going to be negative 2. Okay. Let's recap. What was the x? x is the number of days. So this is number of days what was the y y is the temperature y is the temperature let's read the questions on which day will the temperature in both cities be the same which day on day three what will be the temperature on that day was the temperature 
negative 2. Temperature equal negative 2 Celsius. Okay, so again, the idea is to understand the context of the problem, understand what the x means and what the y means. How to solve it? In this case, you have two equations, you graph them. Okay, that's basically it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. That helps our, to grow our channel. Next video is going to be word problems but linear inequalities. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.